Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So, something a little bit different, but also not really different. It's just, yeah. So, this is a quick review. So, this is a one game kind of thing review where I give my first impressions of a player. It's, the reason why I'm doing this is because I cannot fathom playing this game for more than half an hour at a time because I just I hate this game. I'm I'm just gonna I I hate this game. It's just there's so much that it's weird. It's like Mutthead TVs like playing in the background while I have player stats and he just scored an insane touchdown. Anyway, so reason why I'm doing these is because I cannot. This is how I play this game now. I go on Supermax, and if the guy is cheesing at all or anything I just quit the game because it's, I cannot be bothered to go through the frustration of playing this game whereas I played one game with this Carlos Boozer and I rather enjoyed him so but I can still see his flaws and he does have a few flaws so let's start off with the things he's good at first of all he has an unbelievable mid-range is 96 open shot mid-range which I'm not gonna lie in, in, in all of the things I did with him Shooting a mid-range is not one of them. I just drove with him, and it's because he's he's 266 pounds, and he he feels like a dominant presence in the paint. It, it, it depends who you're up against. If you're up against like Demarcus Cousins or something like that, you're not really gonna do that well. But if they're running like small ball, then he's insane. <laughs> like he's so fun to use. So. It got to the point where, if you've seen in the clips in the in the back, I was just throwing lobs to him, and it's just he he's just so fun to use, and he's so clumsy. Like he like he lost the ball so many times with me. It's just <laughs> but he's so fun to use, but he's so bad. If that makes sense, like you can go like he cost me like twenty k. You can go get a ruby power forward for a thousand MT, and he do pretty much the exact same and with a three-pointer like it's <laughs> it's just he's so clumsy but he's so fun to use like just throwing up lobs and him going get him it's just it's fun he's fun to use but I really wouldn't recommend him unless he's like 5k it I, I don't know maybe it's just cuz uh, like with other Carlos Boozer cards they've always been bad like, in 2K15, he had the, or 2K15 and 16, he had that, um, like, buzz in the community that he is your bronze center. So, it's kind of hard to look past him with that, but when you do, he's rather fun to use, but he's still very clumsy. Like, he, he lost the ball so many times, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, so, one thing is... His biggest flaw, aside from him being very clumsy, like he loses the ball all the time. I don't even know why. Even though he has decent rebounding, I say decent rebounding. He has 97 rebounding and Hall of Fame um, hustle rebounder. That's what the badge is called. He's six foot nine, so unless he's up against Draymond Green or run someone who's running really small ball, he's probably not going to get that many rebounds. You've seen in a couple of clips. In the background, he's getting some rebounds. They are the only rebounds he got, aside from like so offensive rebounds. I don't expect them to get many. Defensive rebounds, I expect a lot, and he even struggled to do that. Which, when you can get Kristaps for like a three thousand MT, I think. Did he have a ruby, or did he get injured before he had his ruby? I can't remember. But yeah, you can get a cheap Chris Stapps and you do about the same as Carlos Boozer. He's not going to be as... Like, he's not going to be as dominant in the paint, you could say. Like, if you see if you see Carlos Boozer running at you, you're probably going to get out of the way. But if you see Chris Stapps, he's probably just going to step over you, I guess? I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, overall summary, before I start rambling too much. <laughs> if you see him for cheap... Pick him up because he, he can be quite fun to use. But if you're looking for a starting power forward, 
you can get a ruby for so much cheaper and you can improve the rest of your team that way. So, yeah, that's just a quick, quick review, I guess. I, I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. It's a good video. Take care. Peace.